tell you down here. Well, I spent the rest of the afternoon reorganizing and stuff. And then finally, my little wood got dry enough to uh, put on there okay with it. Gloves on so that whatever's wet won't get on stuck to my fingers. Here it is. It's actually to where you can touch it now. Looks kind of nice. It seems a shame to put it out there. I love pine. I like to live in a log cabin with pine trim inside. Uh, maybe one day. So, uh, this is the side. Yeah, it's got a big run in it, so it doesn't really matter. But one side's got to go in, and one side's got to go out. So I'm trying to keep it in the view somewhat. one side at a time. We'll put a couple, couple of screws in it and then take these off. I can't really, they sweat my hands so bad. I can't work. Already ripping up. And I've used, oh, that's the other thing. I'm not getting out any different thing. <coughs> I'll save that in case I need it. <coughs> I meant to get my screws that I was going to use out ahead of time. I thought I was going to use the ones that were, I had that were in well some wood uh not red enough to took them out of it. But uh no I'm not. I guess I can throw away that paper. Do not do not leave the paper in there. stuff online a lot you uh, end up with lots of paper it can come in handy so I'll just tap that side in I've got some on the handle using the glove using those gloves I think instead of digging through all these a lot of times I do that instead of digging through all those what I really want is well wood three quarter oh out there I was thinking about how long I wanted them. I really don't need them to be all that long up in, on the sides here. That might be good for underneath. Let's see. No, that's itching. That's about what I want, I think. About, um, Yeah, inch and a quarter because I want them to get a good bite, but three quarters would be good now. With that soft wood, I think an inch and a quarter would be good. Give these a squirt with silicone. So they'll go in good. 
always, ever since my days in the camera shops in the 70s and 80s, I've always been so on my screws and then really push them on my wood screws and shit. We used to put it on our saw tables. They tell you now that's a bad thing to do. But it uh, works. These are a little shorter. These are one inch. With the metal, three quarters plus a sixteenth. No, they gotta be shorter than that. Gotta go through the bottom of the metal then. I need three quarters of what I need. I don't know. I, I probably don't have them. I don't like they're not good for a lot of things, so I don't generally keep a lot of three quarters. And I end up using them up first when I do use them. Looks like they're coming through the bottom of it. I hope my cordless drill charges up by the way. It ran down on me. I had I, just before I started this, I uh, went out there and uh, realized oh that thing is super rusty. So I dug out some I took my cordless drill out there because I didn't want to drag a cord out there. And I uh, Sand it down a little bit with some sanding discs and uh, yeah, those, those drop good, you don't need to pile a hole of anything there. this morning but the evening mosquitoes must like it or it's wore off or something oh it really torqued up yeah we learned to screw without clutches so I hate those things if you learn when to back off you'll be alright most of the time right? I drove many a cabinet hint door door hinge Screws. When I was a cabinet builder, we had to put the hinges on and put the doors on before they went out. I drove a lot of them. With a, well, we started over like skills, but then we got these. See, this, I bought this back in the 80s. This thing still works. The only thing I ever had to do to it, it's one of those Makitas, those old original 80s Makitas. The thing I ever had to do to it was the cord broke right here from bending. And I uh, cut it off, put it back in there. And that was after it was about 30 years old, so it ought to be good for another 30. Find, you can't find anything made good like that anymore. And I didn't think it'd be any good because back then American tools were the best. But uh, at Makita, they wanted, they wanted to make a show and, you know, they wanted to get some business. So they went the extra mile, and they made good tools, and they used to, I mean, I don't think they're near as good as it used to be. That was a bad one. I didn't have the right angle on it. That's in the... There we go. Well, I'm 
ready to mount. Now, I don't know how I'm gonna, I don't know if I can even video it or not. What I'm wondering about is, it needs painting and cleaning up. I got as much as I could get done today. It can always be painted out there. I'm wondering about let's see. what's true. Yeah, see, those are way too long. I need to roll over. I'll just stick it in there and see. Where's the lid for this? I'm sure it has a lid on it. Nine and a quarter, that's probably it. Nine and a quarter. Three and a quarter. That's not bad. It doesn't. Long too, I think. Let's see. Yep. When you screw them, well, along with that wood, I bet you if I cut the, I'm gonna have to go see what they're measuring. <coughs> There's no place to set the camera out there. Unless I set it on the ground and aim it up, but I guess anybody knows how to. Not all that interesting. Put four screws in the bottom from underneath. So anyway, there's my. Oh, I was. I thought you know what? I was talking about my saw, my little table saw. Spray those things with silicone so they can be ready to go. I was talking about my little. I'm gonna go in there and show it to you. Talking about my little uh, table saw. Now there's my big table saw table I built. And I can't get to it because I got junk on it. I can't even, I gotta clean that off. I bought me a Ryobi saw and put it under there so I can cut full sheets of plywood. It, it uh, folds up under there. That all folds up and makes it like some like six by six or six and a half. I got stuff already stacked on it. This is what I gotta do to get stuff out. That down there is a Xerox uh, copier cart. That's what I was trying when I talked about dropping that copier. I was trying to get it off of there and into the van because I thought I was going to haul it off. But, uh, anyway, that little table saw I painted it a year or two ago now. It looks, looks good now. It's got a quick switch. You can just hit it. It kind of I read fixed it. It was not things weren't working on it and I fixed it. But anyway, and it's got the uh, Frosco miter gauge and a and a rip fence. It, you know, it's not self-aligning. You've got to align the to the blade. It's tedious, but it's accurate when you take your time. And that's my bra vacuum. And the desk that I found on the curb and some computers that I use when I'm out here messing around. So anyway, and this is how I set up to work today. So, we're going to go hang that up and... I kind of feel silly if I was out there at the street and uh, people come out saw me out there making videos. I know a lot of, everybody does it, but there's the stand out there. Way down there. People do that all the time. Okay, I painted it red on top and that's all. It used to be black, but I guess the paint wore off over the years. So, here we go. I don't know how you can see me very well, but... See you later. It's gone. Bye. That's the lifesaver, that fan right there. Well, that one up there helps too. Alright, bye.